Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are working on stairs. We've got our staircase framed up and I'm starting to add some of the finished trim on the outsides and then we'll start laying down our jacks. I got fills over here. I'm adding some um, G-tape to protect the staircase from moisture and Andy's finishing up some concrete work. So uh, after that, we also have a bunch of trim to do on the deck. Um, all of our decking's down, our ASIC's down, our uh, Dexter Dry waterproof gutter splines in. So the flat surface of the deck are done. Um, and then after that, we'll be getting into some railing. I doubt we'll get to that today. If you guys like what you see, please click that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified every time we're putting out fresh content, click that bell icon as well. And I uh, hope you follow along and enjoy the video today. I think I actually have mind control. Are you there? Yeah, pretty close. Does it need to be exact, boss? Like exactly? I need you to be close. What's the difference between cement and concrete? Cement is strictly powdered cement. It's like mortar. And concrete has sand and rock in it. What are you doing? And what is this? Okay, this is the side fascia for the outside of our stairs. So the way we build our decks, or the way we build our staircases, instead of wrapping each step individually, I put a side piece up and then we butt everything into the side pieces. It's just kind of the way we do it. It's our style. It's not a, it's a West Coast thing. Um, so right now I'm figuring out a couple, there's a couple things with this deck that we normally don't do on our standard deck and it's just something we have to do. So um, I'm just getting to a couple of points where I have to do a couple things and I'm just doing some notching right now, just notching out some stuff so that I can get this board installed. So I've got the other ones pre-made. I already got the bottom kicker piece in on it and everything. It's just sitting over there right, waiting to go. And I was just working on this side. All right, so um, I have a part that I want to put on the bottom of my staircase. It's like a return, right? And instead of trying to run a bunch of screws in it, which never stay together, I'm going to use 2P10 glue and activator. Uh, it's made by a company called FastCap. And uh, it's, it's really fast acting glue. So it's like using super glue with steroids. All right, so um, I'm going to get that ready to go. And uh, this stuff works so good, it actually glued our cap together. Now I had to open it up, so I don't know how long, much longer this bottle of glue is going to last. But basically, I'm going to put a fairly healthy bead down the middle of this. If you get it too close to the ends, when you smash it together, um, it could get ugly. So you got a few seconds for, for that. But once you spray this stuff, you, you put glue on this side. And then you spray activator on this side. Now you gotta act quickly. You have about 10 seconds and then it fuses together. So that, it works so good, it glues itself to the table. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. I can still hear it crackling a little bit. And so it's like an instant bond. And you can see if I used a little bit too much, it, it'll edge out. This, won't, this you won't see because it's uh, gonna be covered with framing pretty sturdy you know and it just kind of holds in place really well so uh check it out 2p10 So I'm making some folded corners uh, for trim for this deck. So you can see over there the black. All that G-tape is um, protecting the framing and now we're going to cover it with fascia boards. And the fascia boards are 12 inches wide by 12 feet long. But when you leave them 12 feet long, they kind of expand and contract a lot and they move around. So we're gonna cut them into six foot lengths and then every six feet we're gonna have a seam, but I have to make these folded corners. So this is an interior corner and I'm making some exterior corners as well. And I'll just start heating these up 
and bending them into a shape and gluing them together. And what it does is it gives a place for the fascia to butt in and expand and contract a little bit. And it's a kind of a nice look. It's just a really nice look um, when it's finished. So uh, follow along and you'll see kind of how that works. You see that? That's pretty much when you know it's ready, when it'll collapse under its own weight. Okay, so now I'm ready for this part. So I'm going to add 2P10 glue to one side and I'm gonna put their activator on the other. And then I'm gonna fold that together. You can hear it crinkle a little bit. Now I have a corner piece. These are the inside corners. So they'll go over there on that inside corner. And, uh, and then the fascia will come in like this and like this, and it'll give it some room for expansion and contraction, and it'll look nice. It doesn't have that little thing on it saying, hey! So, we just, uh, we have like plug puller screws, which are just like cheap carbon deck screws. Um, we don't usually use the stainless, just because sometimes the plugs are hard to pull off of the screw and stainless is expensive. But what I do is I just screw it in uh, barely enough to pull the plug and try to center the screw as good as you can. And then usually I can muscle the plug off of it. Um, and then if you have any adjustments that you need to make in the board, you can do that with a regular T20 that doesn't have the um, felt stopper on it and then you can just replug it and it'll look good as new. What's another word for thesaurus? All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today and if you did, please click that subscribe button and if you want to be notified of future updates, uh, new releases and new videos that we put out, click that bell icon as well. Thanks for watching, have a great day.